Hello friends, this video on ecosystem part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we will talk about the next aspect of ecosystem that is decomposition. So the first aspect was primary was productivity where we saw that how different organisms, mainly the producers, they, uh, they perform a major role in production. Now is decomposition because decomposition again is equally important because we cannot keep piling up all the dead bodies, right? So we need decomposers. So let us talk about decomposition. So let us see what happens in decomposition. We saw that there are a group of organisms called decomposers and their job is to decompose the dead and decaying matter. So they decompose or they break down the dead animals and plants. But what exactly is the process of decomposition? So decomposition, if you look at the name, it is D plus composition. Composition means something which is composed of. Composition would refer to formation. Now deformation means breaking down. So when it, it, it is just the opposite of formation. So deformation. So you are breaking it down. So it is a process in which complex organic matter are broken down into simpler forms. So it, it is a very simple, I mean the, the meaning of the term is quite simple. So what is this complex organic matter? So if whether you talk about plants or animals, so they are all organic in nature. They are all carbon containing uh, substances. Now when a plant or an animal dies, so what are we left with? We are left with organic matter in complex form because as, as you all know, inside the body of the living organisms, so everything is in quite complex form. So these decomposers, what do they do? They break down the complex organic matter into the most simplest form possible. So that is their job. And that is what, how, what happens during the process of decomposition. So organisms which help in decompositions, they are called decomposers. And whenever you talk of decomposers, the most important organisms which comes to our mind are bacteria and fungi. Detritus. So what is detritus? Now when we talk about decomposition, this becomes a very common term. So let's see what it is. So detritus is the raw material for decomposition. So what do we mean by raw material? Let us take an example. Let us suppose when your mother cooks food for you, there are certain raw materials which she needs to prepare food for you. Now let us suppose if you say that you do not have vegetables at your house, you do not have the spices in your house, you do not have uh, bread or wheat or flour or you do not have any ingredients which is required for cooking, will your mother be able to cook food for you? Not really. Right? So she needs the raw material for preparing food. So in a very similar way, these decomposers, they feed on dead and decaying matter. So that dead and decaying matter is raw material for the process of decomposition because they actually act upon those um, uh, decaying matter and decompose them, that is break them down into simpler forms. So those dead and decaying matter is known by this term called detritus. So detritus is the term for raw material for decomposition. So what forms the detritus? Dead plant remains could be detritus, dead animal remains could be detritus because this is what on which the decomposers feed upon. Without this, the process of decomposition will not happen. Until and unless you do not have dead and decaying matter, there is no purpose of decomposers, there is no point of having the process of decomposition. So these dead plant and animal remains are termed as detritus. Fecal matter, so <clears throat> the excreta of different organisms, so that also forms a part of detritus. Now we will talk about rate of decomposition, that is how fast the decomposers decompose the detritus. So now I am using the terms because now you know what is decomposition, what are decomposers and what is detritus. So let us see what is rate of decomposition and what determines the rate of decomposition, what determines how fast the detritus will get decomposed or how slow the decomposition will take place. So there are several factors which determine the rate of decomposition. Some of them are soil quality, 
So let us see what are the factors in the, what do we mean by soil quality, how soil quality affects the rate of decomposition. So one is abundance of microorganisms in the soil. Now what happens is these microorganisms, they act as decomposers. So more microorganisms are present, faster is the rate of decomposition. Now these organisms need air so that they can decompose aerobically. So the more the number of microorganisms are, faster becomes the decomposition process. So it is something like this, it is pretty simple. So let us suppose that there are 60 students in your class. So let us say that you have to do a project work. So if the time which is allotted to you is say two hours and if only five students in your class are participating in completing that project work, you are definitely going to take a longer time. But if all the 60 students participate in completing the project work, maybe you will be able to finish it in one hour instead of two hours. So when the participation increases, that is when more number of organisms participate, then the time taken to complete that job reduces. So similarly here also, if more microorganisms are present in the soil, so in that case, the rate of decomposition increases. Decomposition happens faster. Next is the moisture content of the soil. Moisture content and temperature of the soil. So these are again two important factors which affect the soil quality. Now temperature and moisture content. Moisture content would mean the amount of water which is present in the soil. So that also plays a very important role. Now what happens is when the temperature is relatively higher, so when it is warm temperature, so warm temperature favors the process of decomposition. So we can see that warm temperature, warm temperature is basically higher temperature. So this favors the process of decomposition, whereas low temperature inhibits the process of decomposition. So you would have seen that even in our houses, if we want to keep, a, if you want to store some food material, what do we do? We store it at a very low temperature and we put it inside the refrigerator. So what happens? Low temperature inhibits the growth of microorganisms and that is how the food remains good. So in a very similar way here also, if the temperature is too low inside the soil, in that case, the uh, microorganisms will not be able to perform their job that well. So the rate of decomposition will decrease. So uh, a relatively higher temperature favors the process of decomposition and therefore the rate of decomposition increases. Next is high aeration. Aeration is the availability of air. Now as I said that microorganisms would need air so that they can decompose aerobically. However, in absence of air, some of them can undergo anaerobic respiration but still aerobic respiration is something which is favored. So high aeration is something which favors the process of decomposition and therefore high aeration increases the rate of decomposition. pH. So pH of the soil decides the acidic or basic nature of the soil. So that chemical composition of the soil also plays an important role in the process of decomposition. Because what is the process of decomposition? When complex substances are breaking down into simpler forms, basically a lot of chemical reactions are taking place. So you can imagine if the pH varies or if the pH is not suitable, in that case the rate of decomposition might get affected. So in a very similar way if uh, let us suppose if you have water soluble substances present there so this would take lesser time so the time taken would be less because they are easily soluble in water whereas if you have substances like lignin or chitin which, is, which are quite hard so they are going to take more time for to decompose so it also depends upon the type of material which you have for decomposition to take place so these are some of the factors which affect the rate of decomposition so composition of the organic matter this is what I was telling you just now that uh, well if it is something like lignin or chitin which is harder it is going to take more time. If it is water soluble substance it is going to take less time. So what type of organic matter you have to bring down is also important to determine the rate of decomposition. Climate, as I mentioned before as well. So climate plays an important role because climate can actually affect the organisms. Now climate in terms of temperature or moisture 
or uh, presence or absence of oxygen. So now we are talking about temperature or uh, moisture of the atmosphere. So even in the atmosphere, if the temperature is very high, so that uh, or if it is extremely low, both of them is going to have an adverse effect on the process of decomposition. So. So a temperature on the slightly higher side will favor the process of decomposition and would therefore increase the rate of decomposition whereas an extremely low temperature would inhibit and therefore decrease the rate of decomposition. So temperature and moisture content of the atmosphere affect the soil quality as well as the uh, as well as the performance of the decomposers in the process of decomposition. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.